All right, we are getting rolling with our Saturday training, and uh, we have a special guest today. And um, what I'll do, I was probably going to just bring up Tim, and he may want to introduce our special guest. And um, I'm Kelly Tiller out in Charlotte, North Carolina, number seven, Diamond with LiveGood. And my story goes that um, I, uh, I said bye-bye to my public school teaching job after so uh, many years. I decided to go full time with Live Good. So uh, thanks to Live Good, um, you know, we can have all the, the income disclaimers and everything, but we are members here on the line. Uh, Live Good is now creating more monthly than I made in my entire year contract. So we got something very special and big here with Live Good. So we've got some great leaders on the line that want to share some of their golden nuggets and wisdom. But I'm going to go ahead and bring up our crown diamond, the very first crown diamond of Live Good, Tim Miller. And I was so just, I'm again, man, man, just excited to meet him in California, have a fun time with him. We got to split a special uh, drinky wink wink there at dinner. And because uh, no one had the um, you know, everybody said, well, I, I'm going to have some uh, water and lemonade, but Tim and I, we decided to celebrate, <laughs> but, uh, Tim, are you there? Are you there? Come on up. And, uh, I know you want to bring up our special guest, And so I won't steal the thunder. Hey, Kelly, can you hear me? Okay. Hey, I can. Welcome. Uh, welcome everybody again. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Listen, I'm going to get out the way as I try to do every week, man. We've got so many amazing people here uh, in this community uh, with Live Good. Just to um, recap, if you guys are not getting on the Friday comp corporate update training recognition call, guys, you're really missing the boat. And if you can't make the calls, maybe you're working, maybe it's too late. That's fine. But make sure you're getting your people plugged in because Ben announced yesterday, our CEO and owner uh, made an announcement yesterday, guys, we just crossed 750,000 members. Now, I don't know if that means a lot to you guys to really understand this industry because the guy I'm about to introduce is what I call the godfather of MLM. Anytime I need numbers about the industry and anything like that, you'd be surprised. I go to him and I'm like, uh, Curry, uh, how many people have... Any company ever done this before? The, the guy is just, he's just amazing. So I'm going to bring him up. But I just wanted to give you the number, 750,000 reps. We're pr producing right at 4,000 to 5,000 bronze members each week. And that's the sweet spot. That's people that are, not only are they making all of their $49 back, guys, they're in profit. They're in the red. And that's what this business is about. I just made a post on, on my wall, and you guys that follow my crazy self, I just made a post, a young lady posted. She said, you know, I've been in the company a couple of months, I think three months, and, you know, I'm only a silver. And I'm like, silver is a great place to be. But she said, I'm making enough. And she actually posted her back office check and said, I made enough to pay my utility bills this month. That's what this company is about, guys. It's not about the Lamborghini pictures. It's not about the $500,000 homes. We're here to help people win. I've been in this industry 30 years. A lot of you know my story. I've been in the industry 30 years, full-time, meaning I've made a full-time income in this industry. I made millions of dollars in the industry. But it's not about me, guys. It's not about me. It took 30 years for me to get where I am and live good and to be able to do what I've done. It's not about me. But when I see people posting pictures of going grocery shopping, when I see pictures of people that are making ends meet and paying bills. Um, we just had a diamond. He just bought his home. He bought a, a, a car, it wasn't a Lamborghini, anything like that. But, you know, making a difference in other people's lives, that's what this company is about. These network marketing companies, I mean, they pop up a dime a dozen. Anybody with a little bit of money can go hire a software company, can, you know, do what I call what's not right. But what we're doing is just so right. And it just feels so good seeing so many people winning. I mean, Kelly Toller, we've become great friends, dear to my heart. Yeah, we we shared a drinking, but she's a friend. She's a friend. Just seeing her laughing and driving a car she shouldn't have been driving because never give her the keys to get in the car with her, by the way. But it's the relationships we're building here. It's the people's lives we're changing. I want you guys to keep your finger on it and don't get comfortable. And what I mean by that is a lot of you guys are making money. I know that a lot of you guys are winning, 
A lot of you guys are promoting up, but don't stop right now. This is the time we put the foot on the gas. This is the time we go, you know, 750,000 members in 10 months. Curry, I'll tell you the numbers. That's a phenomenon. That's never been done before. We will hit a million members this year. That's, a, that's never been done in network marketing. Amway, any of them, never. But I see 2 million. I see 3 million. I see 5 million next year. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. Just like I posted yesterday, many of you saw it. I said, I am building my residual check for January right now. Some of you may not understand that. I am building now for my income in January. I'm not building for now. And I know to keep doing it is I keep my eyes focused on my weekly check. Every person I sign up, you sign up, you get the matches. But let me get out you guys' way. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I am so thankful to call you my friends. A lot of you will be on the cruise coming up next month. If you haven't registered, Vegas coming up in April. Listen, if you can't afford it, don't know how you're going to make it, just pre-register anyways and say to yourself, I'm going to be in Vegas. Guys, you have plenty enough time to make well enough money to get yourselves to Vegas, have a good time, come out and celebrate, shake hands, give hugs, kiss some babies. But again, let me get out the way and take it to my friend. Curry, I love you to death, brother. I have watched you from when you first started your journey here. I've watched your grind. I've watched you truly care about people. And it's just so exciting seeing your organization grow by thousands each day, if not each week. It, it, it's just fun to watch. But Curry Russell, you're the man of the hour. We're going to give it to you. Take it away. Thank you so much, Tim. Kelly, you guys are rock stars. You guys have done so much for the company. Uh, for the teams, for this organization. And it's just, it's such a wonderful place to be at. I'm going to try not to look as angry as I always do. Uh, there's something about my face when I start getting passionate about something. For some reason, I look angry, but I'm, I, I don't want, like Tim posted a picture yesterday at our chat group, and I was like, why do I always look so angry? Anyways, guys, Tim's story is fantastic. And one of the things I want to talk about today is your story. Too many people try to sell with facts. They're trying to tell you all the things about products, try and tell you all the things about the company, try to tell you all the things about money. Try. Let, let's go back to that for a second. When, when we first started with Live Good, um, I was approached by multiple people, including Tim, about the money. And I, I'm... I'm never driven by money. Like it, for some reason, I like making money. I like having extra money. But when I when I am approached with a comp plan or guarantees of money or and Tim didn't do that, by the way, um, or, or some people do. People come at you and tell you, well, I got this deal and you're going to be able to make this much money. Hey, you've got a team of 100 people. If you were if you had a team of 100 people over here, you'd be making 50 billion dollars. You guys have seen this all the time and get approached by these ideas. Those things were never motivators for me. Those, those weren't the things that drove me. When I saw my very first network marketing company, World Ventures, which doesn't exist anymore, um, it was shown to me in 2012 by a guy I was in the Army with. And I was traveling 80% of the year, and he thought that maybe I could use their benefits to make extra money to travel more. And I was like, I just don't need it at this time. In 2014, the exact same guy, the same buddy followed up with me again. And it was the right time for me. And I signed up and I didn't know I joined a network marketing company. I had no clue. I joined a network marketing company. My situation had changed where I wasn't traveling nearly as much. I had ran out of hotel and airline miles and I still wanted a, a way to save money on vacations. So it was the right time when he approached me again and stopped me from buying a timeshare in Virginia Beach and was like, hey, you really need to watch this video one more time. He got me on a phone call with a leader. He did a three-way call. He could have told me every single thing that, that the leader told me himself, but the leader was edified. The leader was edified and made to be a bigger, a bigger leader. And was in that guy literally said the things that I needed to hear. And before we even hung up the phone, I had already signed up. I'd signed up 
for a travel club. Why am I telling you this? Because it was the stories. It wasn't all the facts. It wasn't the details. It wasn't them showing me savings on vacations. It wasn't them showing me breakdowns of, of all these details and here's how you can save and here's all the, all the, the places you can go. It was, here's what my family has done. Over the last three, four, five years, we've gone on 70 vacations. Guys, network marketing has allowed for me in the last nine years uh, to take more than 70 vacations, 70 va real vacations, because it's given me extra income. My job, and I still have a career, I have a career that I'm not going to let go of. I have a career that I've worked myself into all, almost time freedom and they just pay me for information. While I was building the other businesses on the way up in my free time, while I was at my hotel room, while I was on airplanes, while I was driving the car, while I was waiting for, you know, things to be picked up while I was in between everything, I was messaging people. I was learning to message people. I was saying all the wrong things, testing different messages. I kept notebook uh, or, or uh, Google Docs filled with just scripts that I would test for a hundred messages. And if they didn't work, I modified them and added them to the list, scratched them out, said these ones haven't, haven't had any production. And I've just kept trying and trying and trying. As of now in nine years, I've somehow been able to message enough people to sponsor more than 1,000 people in multiple companies and multiple projects all through, almost entirely through Messenger. Almost entirely through Facebook Messenger. I haven't needed any other platform. I, I haven't had much success in LinkedIn. I haven't had much success. I just have always figured out how to use my friends list and Messenger. Now, do I make posts? Of course, I make tons of posts. Do I make posts in groups? Sometimes, randomly. I don't think billboards work in so in, in network marketing. I think it's okay if your friends are trying to figure out what you're doing, if you're if you're launching a business, if you're in that launch phase. But I, I gotta be honest, most of the time, if you're posting on your timeline, you're burning out your your friends list. The people who are watching you. They already know what you're doing. So when you approach them, they already they already have been given heads up or they've Googled it and already signed up with a leader. I caution people when they get started to blast their, their timeline. I, I don't think that's the best idea. I, and I learned that because I've done it. I burned through my, lit, my friends list. And now I have a process where I add 20 to 50 new friends a day using recommended friends. I constantly keep changing my friends. I delete thousands and thousands of people. My Facebook friends list isn't friends. It's prospects. It's prospects. It's prospects. It's prospects. It's prospects. I don't develop relationships with prospects. I re develop relationship with team members. Do we still have some echo on the line there tim or somebody still mute unmuted um but guys my my goal with any of the time that i'm in a business is i want to use the business to create extra on top of my pay because my pay pays my bills everything that i make in network marketing pays for my fun pays for my future pays for my vision you if you're not building for a vision I don't really know what, what you're doing. And, and I got to say that lots of people have been watching me over the last three weeks. I, I bought a building. So I live in a, in a small town, Pomeroy, Ohio. I bought a building. I've tried to buy this building three times. Last year, I was going through a, a, an ugly divorce. I was going through a really tough time. And I tried to buy this building because I didn't have a place for me and my son and my daughter to live. I was living in a camper. Y'all have been watching this. Many of you have seen this. Been living in a camper and didn't have space or rooms for my kids. And so I just wanted to find a place so bad to give them their own space because they're 12 and 14 years old. They don't want to be living on a couch for weeks at a time. And so I tried to buy this building. There was tenants. It didn't work out. But I got to tell you, 
I was living paycheck to paycheck. Then if I had added a whole nother house payment and electric and utilities and all the stuff, I would have been in the hole so bad. It was just such a bad time to even try, but I, I just wanted it. Fast forward six months, six months. I tried again that the, one of the tenants was about to move out and I would be able to have this upstairs apartment, but the other people were going to still be there. And I still wouldn't have room for the kids. They could sleep on the couch. They could be, but there just wouldn't be their own rooms. They wouldn't have their own space. Fast forward another six months. I hit diamond. I hit diamond. This company started paying me a bunch of extra income and life changed. Life changed so fast. I got approved for twice as much money for the house. I tried to buy a different property. It wasn't in the cards for some reason because of, I thought it was going to be an amazing place. I thought it was going to have all this incredible waterfront. Everything was just looking great. It wasn't in the cards. They didn't want to accept my full offer. I tried offering them the full price and they said, nope, because of all these contingencies on contingencies, selling my house, the people buying my house needed to sell their house. It was crazy. But I, it fell through. I called this building because it was still for sale. And the lady goes, I just want you to have it. And I said, I just want to have it. Three weeks later, I own this building. It, it took 20 days. 21 days to buy this building. I own the building now. I'm. You guys are watching me decorate, watching me put this thing together. People are just following me and seeing all this stuff. And I'm not trying to brag about having a building or having my own space or giving my kids space. The point of all of this is I didn't give up. I didn't quit when things got hard. I didn't quit when, when people said no. I didn't quit when the 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 universe said no when said when things were just going bad sure i got depressed sure i was frustrated sure i just I, I i was beating myself up like what am i doing wrong what what's wrong with me why can't this stuff work out for me but i didn't quit i just kept moving forward every single day kept making sure my business was growing talking to enough people helping my team grow helping my leaders launch helping my leaders help their people and just doing everything that I was supposed to do, all the while maintaining my career, all the while uh, trying to uh, make all the ends meet, work through all the problems. And I just didn't quit. And now because timing, because timing came into play, I was able to buy and furnish and, and set myself up for this next chapter of my life. When people and friends now come over to a place, they walk into a place that feels like a spa. It feels like a, like a, just a, a relaxing paradise. There's it, it's, and I truly feel this way. Like when I'm in this space, it is just relaxing, just so relaxing, but I couldn't have done any of this. Hadn't I worked hard and helped the teams and helped the company and helped and helped and helped and helped. And I did it by telling stories. I did it by showing people what's possible. I did it by being and doing and then receiving. I was being it first. I was being the leader. When I was first put on the team corporate calls, I was a platinum person. I didn't, I didn't have uh, all the rank. It wasn't a diamond. I was being a diamond and doing the diamond work and then receiving the diamond pay. That's how this works. That's how this that's how this personal development and and stuff works. Somebody I made a post yesterday or the day before yesterday about um investing in your brain, in, investing in your brain to make sure that it literally creates the income in your wallet. Because the more you pour into this, the more it will pour into your wallet. And somebody was like, I don't even understand how that works. I don't know how the listen, I don't know how the universe works either, but I absolutely have proven. Tim has proven, Kelly has proven, Jesse, all the rest of the diamonds have proven that personal development is the number one thing that you should be focusing on to get to the next level. And I'm not talking about just a bronze. That's not a fair, that's not fair. 
getting to bronze is literally inviting two people. That's not a challenge. And Tim was talking about the numbers, and I'm jumping around. I'm sorry. You guys realize that 4,000 people a week, and, and we've been up 5,000 for many, many, many weeks. That is an additional 10,000 people in the company. 5,000 bronzes means that they've added two. That means that on top of the 5,000, 10,000 more bronzes have showed up. Every time they say those numbers, I'm doing the math in my head. Well, there was 500 or 50 new golds. Holy crap, that's 100 new team members So per 50. So that's 5,000 more people. Did I do that math right? That's zero, zero. Yeah, that's right. So, guys, the numbers are, are outrageous. When you look at the amount of people who are ranking up and the numbers in the volume of people that is growing, there is, like Tim said, there ain't no company in the history of network marketing that is growing like this because it's so ridiculously simple to invite. Uh, today, this is not a made up story. This is true. A gentleman reached out to me and said, Hey, I did this Facebook Live. Can you watch it and tell me what you think? He, he played, he, I went to his uh, timeline, watched his Facebook Live. He, he was literally regurgitating uh, Live Good for 15, 20 minutes. And I reached out after about five minutes of it. And I was like, Look, I said, you are literally spewing facts. And the tour link is five, six minutes, five minutes and 50 whatever seconds it is. You are talking longer than the tour. Why? Why would you possibly attempt to talk longer than the tour? You, all of you out here right now, are probably ex trying to over explain a membership and you don't have to. You don't have to talk. I can't, I couldn't tell you the last time I talked to a prospect in the last nine months that I explained that it was a membership or that I explained there was a comp compensation plan or I explained that there were levels or I explained that there's a matrix or I explained anything, I literally go say, go watch the tour video. The tour video explains all of it. Oh, you want to see an explana explanation of the compensation plan? Great. We have a video for that. Let me let me show you the video. I, I know that I am passionate about this because I think that network marketing is one of the few paths in life that you can create residual income and change a person's average life to an above average lifestyle. Network marketing can change a person's life from average to above average, and it just takes time and effort. And, and for all those who are watching me right now, my wheels are spinning because this topic, there are some people in this group right now who are going to quit in the next three months. You're going to quit. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to give up. You're going to quit. And nobody's going to be able to stop you. No information that I'm going to give, Tim's going to give. You're just going to feel so frustrated you're going to give up. But you're the same people who probably have kids that you put through college. And they were forced to go through two, three, four, five, six years of college to get a degree to make 13, 14, 20, 25 dollars an hour in their job after four or five years of college. Yet y'all won't stick around for three months to build your business. These are the things that make me look angry and feel frustrated that people don't understand that it takes time. Your first year in network marketing, by the way, everyone should own the book, Your First Year in Network Marketing by Mark Yarnell. If you haven't read your first year in network marketing, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to tell a story. When I joined World Ventures, I went to my very first network marketing event in Akron, Ohio. It made me, it, it, it changed my life so much that I wanted to write a book about it, and I did. But at that meeting, in my notes, I wrote down the second book under Rich Dad, Poor Dad to read was your first year in network marketing. I didn't read it till I was in year eight, and now it's the number one book I promote. It is the most important book you should read 
is your first year in network marketing by Mark Yarnell, who's passed away a couple of years ago. Um, guys, it is the most important book you should read because it tells you who you should be prospecting. It tells you how to do all of this stuff, gives you step-by-step -step instructions of how to get past your first year where you're going to be frustrated. You aren't coming out of your freshman year of high of college making $100,000 a year. Tim said this a minute ago about he's been doing this for 30 years to get to this point. It took me nine years to get to that, that point. To, to, to this point, I wasn't at the top of any other company. I'd never been a top leader. I've never had a team of 21,000 people. Never. And by the way, the 21,000 people aren't, I mean, they're, they're my team, but I've put 169 people in that, in that leg. 169 people have become 20, almost 22,000 people today in nine months. That's not, that, that's all those people. I didn't find my team found people who found people who found people who found people. You can't come into this thinking that you're going to put in 20,000 people yourself. You have to build depth. And in that book, your first year, my first year in network marketing by Mark Yurnell, I saw somebody in the chat was asking about it. That book tells you in your first year, you're going to suck at this. You're going to suck. You, you guys might have been in network marketing for three, four, five years. But in reality, because you don't do it every single day and you're not treating it like a business and you're not treating it like it's your job, you're treating it like it's a hobby and you're doing it maybe once every couple of weeks, once a month, once a whatever, and you're not prospecting every single day. They make these teams no sleep, right? I've, I've, every company I've had, there's some team that was a team no sleep. If you're not prospecting every single day, you're not in network marketing. You've got a hobby. I'm sorry. Be, you can beat me up. You can tell me I'm wrong. You can tell me whatever you want. If you take weekends off, you're wrong. If you take weekends, holidays, birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, if you take the time when everyone's at home on their phone off, what are you doing? Like, what is it? you're doing in this in the, in your business. I know I've heard this for years. Curry, you don't know why people join network marketing. Some of them just join for the social. Some of them just join because they want to be surrounded with like-minded people. To all of those people, I say quit. You're a statistic. You aren't winning. You're holding everybody else back. You're asking dumb questions to your leaders when you're not actually going to go do the work. I've been around this long enough to have enough people bug the crap out of me with worthless, worthless, time-sucking vampirism that they're not going to go do what they're supposed to do, which is just show more people. None of us have to dig a ditch. None of us have to go hang electric lines. None of us have to work on a barge. None of us have to go stand in the line of fire. All we're doing is asking more people every single day to watch a video. It's not work. It's not hard. It's not complicated. It is simple. It is so stupid simple. And every single one of you on this call should be dominating at this. And because it doesn't make a difference how many people say yes. It doesn't make a difference how many people say no. It doesn't make a difference how many people say say maybe. It doesn't make a difference. All that matters is that you're doing consistent work because somehow, some somehow the universe delivers to those who are consistent those who are absolutely consistent it may take a year it may take two years it may take three years but if you stay consistent and you stay building and you stay working it happens it happens there's a collective effect there's this compound effort effect that happens and then all of a sudden you go from being doing nothing January 13th, you had took a time off because of your divorce. January 13th, January 14th, you got eight people in your team. January 15th, there's 30 people in your team. 13 days later, you're a platinum in the company. 77 days later, you're a diamond in the company because you literally went to work consistently and told everybody and ran as hard as possible. And it can still, it, there's people in my team who hit platinum in 
I think six days. I got a, I got a person who hit the platinum in six days. And that person, who I think is a fabulous individual, doesn't even know because they're all focused on 20 other things, didn't even know that they had a platinum that hit in 23 days. Didn't even know. And we found out a later because we got people like my buddy Trevor tap rooting and working on the team, finding leaders, finding out who's running, who's not running, running through the teams. Guys, this is never network marketing is never going to be about you. Never network marketing is never going to be about your effort. If you want it to be about your effort, go get a job. If you want it to be about your effort, go do affiliate marketing. If you want it to be about you, go do all those things. I know that network marketing, just like Tim, Kelly, all the rest of the leaders, it is entirely about you developing leaders who develop leaders who develop leaders who develop leaders. That's how you win in network marketing. If you think this is about who can enroll the most people, it's never going to work that way. You're going to get paid more off of the depth in your organization and the matching pays that are created and the matching pays that are created and the matching pays that are created because you went to work and you did the thing that you were supposed to do and then you helped people. My, I don't recruit nearly as many people now because I'm spending most of my time helping my leaders Get leaders, helping them find the, helping them launch their leaders inside their organization. This is happening because it's simple. I've been in other companies. Tim was talking about the numbers earlier. One of my previous companies that I really loved, I, my, some of my favorite people in my entire life are in that company. And when we joined that company, the company was 10 years old and they had a, they had a, uh, organization of 250,000 people. And that was like the brag. Like that's what they bragged about. 10 years, 250,000 people in the team or in the company. And that was what they were bragging about. And so when we surpassed 250,000 people, like in March or April, and then all of a sudden we're at 750,000 people in 10, less than 10 months, we still haven't even broke 10 months yet. 750,000 people and not any of you, like, obviously, please forgive me. Obviously, lots of you are doing this correctly and using these numbers, using these numbers to attract people. I love that we put out graphics that show how many how many people join all the time. But if you're not using these numbers to literally tell everyone, look, listen, here's, here's an easy script for all of you. Here's an easy script. Hey, Bob, I don't know if you've heard yet, but we, there's this new membership company that just opened up and within 10 months, there's almost a million people involved. I, I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but it's a $10 membership. Watch this tour video. All you got to do is li leave Bob alone now. Let Bob watch the tour video when he wants to watch the tour video. Just tell him, tell him, tell everyone how fast this is moving and give people that fear of missing out. You don't want to miss out on this, Bob. People are getting paid because they become a member just because they became a member. Bob, Bob, hurry up. Sign up, Bob, Bob, to sign up. That, there's nothing to this. There is no questions. If people have questions, move on. I, If they have questions, move on. Here's one of the greatest tips I can give you in a training. How people buy is how people will sell. If you have to baby a prospect, if you have to convince them to go share it with others, that's how they're going to do it. They're going to literally take their dear sweet time. You're, it's going to be forced. It's never going to feel easy. And that person's going to be a vampire in your life. They're going to be a, a time sucking vampire. And every one of you who become leaders, Every one of you who become leaders are going to experience time-sucking vampires. And guess what? Sometimes, eventually, they might get out of their own way. They might. If you understand personality types, greens, green personality types will suck the ever-living life out of you for details about comp plan and 
company and owners and details and all this history and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, get out of your own stupid way. By the way, I'm talking to myself because I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing. In my first four years of network marketing, four, four years, four years, I was evaluating and breaking down comp plans and details and all this nonsense. And I remember one day when I joined the second company I joined, I was sitting in a hotel room and I looked myself in the face in a mirror and I said, I'm killing my green side. I said it because I knew it about myself. I knew that my green side was stopping me from making all of the winning that I needed to do. And over the course of two years, of uh, those next two years in that company, I had personally sponsored 800 people. They put me on the cover of a magazine. I got an Audi. I was doing great. Life was rocking, rocking because I got out of my own stupid way and stopped asking dumb questions and stopped asking anything and focused on just doing what it is that I needed to do. And that's all you have to do. Every single one of you in network marketing, in any company, in any product, and especially here, is get out of your own stupid way. And if you're offended that I just said your own stupid way, get over it. You're allowed to be offended. It doesn't do anything. I promise. People who get offended all the time, and you can just move on, and you can get happy in the same pants you got offended in. And by the way, you're still in your own stupid way. Get out of your own stupid way. Do the simple stuff. Stop thinking you need all kinds of leads or you need to buy things or need to use tools or new landing pages or systems. You don't need any of that. You need a Facebook group. Find a group of people that you want to prospect to and go down that list and message them. And if you come back to me and ever tell me, well, Curry, all the live good people already messaged all those people out of here. Find another group. There's 10,000 million groups out there of like-minded people. Find one that hasn't been fished in and go fish in it. Do you think, and I love the fishing analogy, do you think that when I go kayak fishing in a pond, it hasn't been fished in yet? You don't think that there's those fish, all the fish in that pond have, have gathered together and been like, look guys, we know what these fake lures look like. Let's stop biting because uh, everybody's already fished here. That's the dumbest I, That's the dumbest thought I ever heard. I couldn't imagine going to my upline or going to any leader and going, well, nobody's available out of the 7 trillion people or billion people on the planet. 7 billion people on the, 8 billion. And you are worried about finding 100? I really want to challenge every single one of you today. I'm going to give you the dumbest, simplest thing you could do. Go make a flyer. Make a flyer with the save list of savings that you can have in all the products. Put on there, hey, a new five, $10 membership on the flyer. Literally tell people that you're having a fundraiser. And they don't even know what the fundraiser is for. And they don't care. It's a $10 membership. Rock, rock, walk through your neighborhood and when you get done with all the doors and you've passed out flyers to every single door about live good with your link on it go to the next neighborhood and do the same thing and then go to the next neighborhood you don't think you're going to find three four five ten people who are going to get started that you can plug into the system online and actually start growing a local team of people who start growing a local team of people who start growing a local team of people. This isn't this isn't complicated. People want to make this complicated. People want to treat network marketing as if it is some ugly four letter word when it's actually MLM and it's three letters. It's just a it's just devastating this because of things that took place in the 70s and 80s. People are still holding on to, you know, garage buying and all this qualifying and all this crap that they used to do. You don't even have to buy products to qualify here. You don't have to buy products to qualify here. You don't have to spend money every single month if you don't want to. I'm not a product guy. I'm not a product guy. I am a business guy. I love the business of live good. 
I love sharing this. I love inviting people to it. I love wearing my, my live good bracelet everywhere and people going, Hey, what's that bracelet? What's that about? What, what cause are you supporting? I'm cause my cause is me. I'm supporting the, the cause of Curry Russell through this live good membership. Uh, my, my, uh, uh, what I said just a second ago, my brain just jumped. My, uh, fundraiser is is my bills my fundraiser is my bills this this is just simple and you just got to tell stories and you got to do what you got to do hey tim are you still there i'm here buddy hey i gotta step away for just a second can you take over for like five seconds yeah absolutely give me just a second (laughs) all right everybody um, he's got me jumping on here. I was actually taking uh, notes and, you know, it is what it is, guys. And I just posted in the group, you know, the less you say, the more you make. You know, one of the worst things a person can tell me is that I've been talking to this guy or I've been talking to this lady. There's the problem. You're talking. There is no, the less you say, the more you make, guys. All we do is say, take the free tour. The presentation is done for you. The autoresponders are already set up for you, all the follow-up. You don't need a lead capture page. You don't need to be buying leads. And you don't need, you don't even need personal development here. It's just get two. And I know it, it can sound awkward, guys, but I'm going to share something with you that I'm always telling people. I could literally take a note, write my livegoodtour.com forward slash username, on that note, put it in a dog's mouth, and literally, I could get two people. That's how simple it is. Keep this so simple. You know, we like to say kiss. Keep it super simple, stupid. Don't, I I, I just can't express it. I mean, I've literally been in this company a year now, okay? I have, believe me, Everybody on my Facebook has seen Live Good. People like Curry that said, I even showed it to them. Guys, I still post my link all day, every day. I don't listen to these gurus talking about, oh, your algorithm, this, yeah. No. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you guys a quick tip here. If you're struggling to get people in this business, you have to get on Courtney Looper. Lindsay, in that group's call, they open it up to the whole company. Every day they do something called a power call. They walk you step by step. Literally, they even pause the call and give you the action steps. Guys, get on that power hour. It's every day. We post it in all the groups. Get on that power hour. Get on the calls. And don't only you show up, but get your team to show up. It's not about you. It's not about, oh, is this call going to be recording? No. How many people did you get on this call today? How many of you are going to sit around waiting on uh, to see if anybody recorded this because you want to send it out to your people? No. Why didn't you invite your people to this Zoom when we have people literally, get this, we have people on this Zoom from Canada, from Sweden, from Ethiopia. They're up at 2 or 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning. If they can make it, you can make it. Winners find a way. Curry, are you back, my friend? I am. Thank you for that. I, got, I had to take care of something for Levi. Give me, so I am back. And Tim, I'm going to tell our story for just a second because I think it's hilarious. And I think that uh, uh, people need to have a challenge. Um, so. I think it was right after I hit platinum and I was added to the platinum chat when back before there was a diamond chat, we had a platinum chat. Uh, and I said something. And then Tim said, just because you hit a rank doesn't mean that you're a leader. And I I got stupid offended. I got stupid offended and I made it a point that it was my new challenge in life that I was going to surpass Tim on the leaderboard. He didn't know this. I didn't call him out. I didn't get angry and make some dumb post. I didn't go 
uh, treat Tim badly. I didn't, I didn't, I, I was just, I had this, the own internal challenge now that on the leadership board, I wanted to get above Tim Miller on the, on the leaderboard. And I think when Tim and I was battling for fifth and fifth and sixth place on that leaderboard, I, I passed him for a couple days and it was over. It was totally over. I had no frustrations. I had no anger. But guys, who are who on your leaderboard right now are you going to pass? Who is it that you're put put me? I want every there's 300 400 people in this call. 400 of you should be looking at the leaderboard going, "Okay, where's Curry Russell?" Cuz Curry Russell isn't enrolling people the way he was. Back, I'm talking about myself in third person. That's hilarious. I, I'm not doing what I was doing back at the when I was launching my business. Every single one of you should get as mad and as crazy as I did with Tim and go, if this goofy guy from West Virginia or Ohio, now I live in Ohio, and, and has gone through what you're going through, some of you have been through way worse than me. Some of your lives are better than my lives. And you're not winning at a level that surpasses Curry Russell? Like, get angry. Get angry that you're not winning at that level and go beat me. Go beat Tim. Go beat Dan Pylon. Go be on that leaderboard and have a reason. Like, have something that drives you to a crazy level. I got to, when I hit Diamond, me, me and Tim and Kelly and Jesse and a few other people were on a call. And I told Tim, I was like, dude, you set me on fire. Like you didn't even know. I didn't tell you. I never called it, called you out. I said, but one second, one second of one moment set me on fire. And I was like, I'm not quitting until I surpass this moment. And you got to have these things in your life. You got to have these challenges. And here, let's make one more massive, massive. If you've hit the rank of silver and you don't have weekly or monthly promotions for your team, I don't know what you're doing. I swear, if you're not doing promotions inside your organization every single week to month, I don't know what you're doing. And it could be as simple as an Amazon gift card or a t-shirt from the Live Good store or one of our product packs or whatever it is. But you should be promoting to your small teams, your 20, your 100, your 500. You should run promotions every single week to hit those Thursday numbers, every single month to hit the monthly numbers and keep doing it and doing it and then duplicating those promotions to your silvers and to your golds and to your platinums and to your diamonds. You should have promotions. My team Every person who hits platinum inside my organization gets a watch. They get a watch every single time. I've got to send like five more watches right now around the world um, because they're literally, and by the way, uh, Citizen is, not Citizen, I'm sorry, Casio is running out of my exact watch design. And I don't know if it's because I'm buying all of them. I don't know what is happening, but you should be running promotions because Promotions isn't just about rewarding behavior. It's about finding leaders because you want to find those people who are chasing a win. Those people who are chasing a win. My, and no offense to Tim, no offense to Kelly, no offense to, there has been very few promotions because if there were, I would lose my mind to win. I would be trying to beat everybody again because I love a challenge. I love when there's a promotion. I love when there's things that make me go try to win some little extra trinket, some little extra thing. And if you are at the level of silver and gold and platinum, and you're not driving your teams to find leaders, like, I don't know how, I don't know why I know these things and others don't. I don't know why I'm aware that I've got to reinvest my income back into my team to help them win. But this, this is a, these are driving things. And, and I know that everybody loves all these groups and all these uh, things that everybody's doing. 
but don't spend more time listening and learning than you do prospecting. Uh, it's that's I know I. Uh, <laughs> did you sit and just feel the self defeat that I just just let out to the world? I've just watched so many people in my nine years, friends, people I've developed relationships with who are build, trying to build their business, spend more time in Zooms and spend more time in meetings than prospecting, than winning, than enrolling people, than setting up three-way calls and setting up three-way chats. And they're, they're like, you're not doing the work. You're, I don't know what you're doing. You're hanging out, you're social. And I don't get social. I signed up for a business. I became, I, I signed up for a business. I didn't sign up to be in the Eagles or the VFW or American Legion, all these social clubs. If you want to be in a social club, there's a million social clubs. You can go join one any day of the week. Here is a business. And I want every single one. Of, how many people are we in here, here now? Hold on, let me tap the screen. Still, right at 400 people. 400 people could be diamond in the next six months. 400 of you could be diamond in the next six months. Easy. Easy. That's 2,500 people. That's not even that many people. And you, what's stopping you? What is stopping you from winning? And the answer is you. The only person who's stopping you from winning is you. It's this. This is what's stopping you from winning. Whatever dumb fear you have, whatever you're, you're worried about rejection, you're worried about people's feelings, you're worried about people's opinions. I God, the moment you let go of any of that, it is just peaceful. Like the, the book, okay, second book that I'm going to recommend that changed my, one of the dynamics, go for no. Not the Ray Higdon one. Throw that one out. I, I'm not a fan of it. The original go for no book changed part of my life. Because I stopped caring about any outcome and I just ran through the no's to find the yeses. And there's people who hate this concept. But the reality is, it's the truth. If you want to win, you're going to have to run through no's to find the yeses. You don't, and I'm not chasing a no. I'm not chasing people to say maybe. I don't care what they say. My, my frustrations when I'm running is if I go a day without talking to 10 people, I'm upset. I'm upset that I failed myself. I'm not upset that they said no, that 10 people said no. I'm upset that I didn't do the thing that I was supposed to do, which was show more people. That's the only thing that you have to do in this business is invite more people. I don't know how to, like people come to me and are like, well, what's the secret? Invite more people. What do you say? Whatever it, whatever you need to say, talk to the person. Be a real human being. Talk to them. Ask them to watch a tour video. Ask them if they need more money in their life. Ask them if they need to save money in their life. Hey, Dr. Aaron, I saw her name pop up just a second ago. Did an incredible talk yesterday about literally asking them if they need to save money. Because they do. Everybody wants to save money. I signed up for Walmart Plus the other day because I found out I get 10 cents off per ga per gallon. Do you think I care about the cost of gas? I couldn't have told you. I just pumped gas in my F-150 and I don't know what the price was and I don't know what it cost me per gallon. And I'm not bragging. It's just that I'm at a point in my life where I got to get gas anyway. Why do I care what the price is? I'm going to go pay the price. The price is the price. That's what network marketing is to me. How do you get to the diamond rank in live good? The price is the price. The price is 2,500 people. How do you get those people? Who knows? As fast as you possibly can, message enough people, help the people that you get started, get started and run. Run, run as fast and as far and as hard as you can. And if it takes one year, awesome. If it takes two years, awesome. If it takes 10 years, this is the last thing I'm going to say without trying, without crying. If it takes 10 years and you're making $15,000 a month extra, look back at your life right now. Whoever's sitting in this call, wherever you're listening from, 
you've probably been at your job or your career longer than 10 years and you're not making six figures. You're not making multiple six figures. You're not making money. You're making a little bit. You're making what they're willing to pay you for your time, effort, and energy just enough. If it took you 10 years, if it took you 10 years and you're making $100,000 a year because you played on Facebook, because you messaged enough people and it took you 10 years and over that course of 10 years, you were gradually building and at 10 years, you were making six figures and at 12 years, you were making seven figures. Guys, that's what happens. That's that compound effect. And this is what's happening to me. It's what's happened to Tim. It's what's happened to other leaders and mentors in my life. This is true. It is a compound thing. What what is going to happen in my six-figure year, two years from now, three years from now, will be seven figures. And guys, the weirdest part about what I'm telling you is, even if I go in a different direction, years from now, if something happens, it'll still happen because of the compound effort and the growth and the movement and everything I've become and everything that you're becoming, it just happens. But if you don't believe it and you don't go out and work on it and you don't achieve it, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Guys, I'm done. I'm Curry Russell. I'm a diamond with live good. I'm going to be around for a long time. And if you guys need anything, message me, call me, tell me what you need. But don't come at me with dumb questions. Don't come at me with things that that are uh, whys and, and wins and hows. Just do the work. Go today, go on YouTube and look up Art Williams, Just Do It. That's, that's the answer. To every single question, every single thing, just do it. It's my, it's my uh, wish for all of you. So, Tim, Kelly, thanks for having me. Oh, wow, thanks, man. That was awesome. Curry Russell, man, you're talking about that phone call, that phone call that you were like, man, like, what did Tim say to me? And uh, you remember when you called me up, Curry, and I said, you know, you just need to run hard. <laughs> and that was my only answer to you is you just need to run hard and build your business and, and focus on what you got to do. And if you want to outwork Tim Miller you just just do it just do it Curry <laughs> so yeah that I, Art look, Williams it's a true did. story isn't it Kelly yeah it's a true story yeah yeah you called me you called me up and uh you said did you did you see what Tim said in the chat box and I was like you know Tim Tim is a is a say what's on his mind kind of guy and here's yeah. exactly what I said I said he means well he and does. I said, and, and he means, well, he's not out to hurt anybody's feelings. He's like, look, it is what it is. And, but if you want to take it differently and, and bless your heart, uh, you did for just, a, just a, a moment. Right. But you turned, you turned that into like massive energy for yourself, which is super awesome. And I love talking to you on the phone there, Curry. And I know you're busy and, uh, but, but yeah, we catch up on the phone at times. Uh, man, I love I love your message today. And I know your message hit home for so many people. I see these smiling faces up here on these cameras and people taking notes. And y'all know I was taking notes. I just wasn't showing my little uh, cardinal pajamas today. And uh, so, but I know I want to go ahead and bring, I think Tim's unmuted. And um, hey, Curry, I know you're going to be one of the speakers in Vegas. Yes, and uh, we're so excited about that. I'm going to actually fly out to Vegas and check on some locations. And um, I'll probably post a little something in some groups. Uh, when I get to Vegas, um, I'm going to be staying um, at the Venetian in the next uh, week or two. So if somebody is out in Vegas, I would love to, for us to have, you know, dinner or something. I don't know. But I'm going to go out there and sniff some spots around uh, for the conference. And that's where we're at. We're wanting everyone to get pre-registered because we need to get a number 
a number of folks. Uh, and like Tim said, you know, if you're not sure you're going, you well, for one, you're going to, we got six months, you got six months to work it hard right now for uh, that event. Okay. And uh, that's going to be, that's going to be very big. That's going to be very big. We got big plans for it and it's going to have limited seating. I mean, definitely. So um, uh, yeah, can't wait for Vegas, Courtney. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, yeah, I'll post that. I am looking for who out, who's out there in Vegas because uh, one of the evenings I would love for us to get a little group together and have some dinner. Uh, but let me go ahead and bring up Tim Miller and I'm sure he's going to close it out with some great thoughts and um, we're uh, just ready to hit the roads running today, right now. Tim Miller, come on up. Hey, Kelly, can you hear me okay? I can. Awesome, everybody. Hey, let's just go to work. Um, have a great week. Uh, make it a big week. Rank up to bank up. I always remember that. And um, this call was so awesome. I, I, I have really nothing to say. I'm speechless. I'm just going to try to figure out what can I do today to piss Kerry off again? Because if that works, it just works. And I know it motivates him now. You guys take care of yourselves. Be blessed. Have a great week. Do the numbers, guys. And I'll meet you at the top. And hope to see all of you guys in Vegas. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.